You have this. We have the same haircut, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Uso ata yung haircut ngayon na ganyan. <laughs> Ito, walang effort. A good evening, brothers and sisters. Uh, I have prepared the talk in English because uh, I thought uh, Pastor Manuel will be here today. So, I'll be giving it in English. <laughs> so, we... Uh, before I go on to my talk, uh, let me tell you first what is going in my life right now. Right now, I'm still online, schooling online, studying while working uh, because my work still requires me to submit a weekly report and because we are short with personnel. And one of the conditions that they allow me to go on schooling uh, my superiors it's not to leave work to leave my workload uh, that was tasked to me without proper turnover and we don't have enough personnel competent enough to take my job and that's where m my problem is right now so because uh, before I accepted Pastor Manuel uh, uh, before I accepted Pastor Manuel offer offer to give talk tonight uh, last week I have to decline to give talk last week uh, because problem arises last week in my family and schooling is taking too much of my time and doing weekly report in our office. Uh, to simplify it all, uh, I'm not managing my time very well. So I prayed and asked guidance from the Lord. And after that, I, uh, I received uh, another phone call from Pastor Manuel and asking me if I can now give a talk. And I know that God uh, answered my prayer on what to do with my time. And I know in my mind, God is saying, I know that you're busy, butch. So, uh, but please do have time for me and the brethren. So I decided to give a talk about uh, time management. And so I search for scriptures about it. And I know that uh, this is what God wants me to do. And how can I refuse? So before I go with the scriptures, uh, let me ask you, mga kapatid. Uh, do you believe that uh, life is short? So... According to King David, uh, on the back uh, uh, on the book of uh, Psalm chapter thirty nine, verse four to five. Let's go to Psalm chapter thirty nine, verse four to five. Uh, it says, verse 4, Lord, make me to know mine end and the measure of my days, what it is, that I may know how frail I am. Verse 5, Behold, thou hast made my days as an hundred, and mine age as, as nothing before thee. Verily, every man at his best state is altogether vanity. Salah. Sa Tagalog, Panginoon, ipaalam mo sa akin ang aking katapusan at kung ano ang sukat ng aking mga araw. Ipaalam sa akin kung gaano kadaling lumipas ang aking buhay. Narito ang aking mga araw ay ginawa mong iilang mga dangkal at sa paningin mo'y tulad sa wala, ng, wala ang aking buhay, 
tunay na bawat tao ay nakatayong gaya ng isang hininga lamang. So, in this verse, indeed our life, our lifetime is short. And uh, Paul, uh, Apostle Paul also said in the epistle of James, chapter 4, verse 14, Wherever you know, you know not what shall be in the morrow, for what is your life? It is even a vapor that appeared for a lot, for a little time, and then vanished away. Sa Tagalog, kayun man ay hindi nyo nalalaman kung ano ang magaganap bukas. Ano ba ang inyong buhay? Kayo nga ay isang, isang singaw na sa sandaling panahon ay lumilitaw at pagkatapos ay naglalaw. Knowing all of this, we have to set our we have to set our priorities. Uh, it says in Matthew 6 verse 33 But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all of these things shall be added unto you. Sa Tagalog, ngunit hanapin muna ninyo ang kanyang kaharian at ang kanyang katwiran at ang lahat ng mga bagay na ito ay pawang idadarag, idaragdag sa inyo. It means that uh, we have to carefully uh, use our time. Using our time carefully is living wisely. So we have to spend our time wisely And let us use our time on what matter most. It is said on Ephesians chapter 5 verse 15 to 17. See them that you walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise. Uh, Chapter, uh, verse 16, redeeming the time because the days are evil. Wherefore, be ye not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is. Sa Tagalog, uh, kaya maging maingat kayo sa inyong paglakad, hindi gaya ng mga mangmang, kundi gaya ng marurunong na sinasamantala ang panahon sapagkat ang mga araw ay masasama. Kaya huwag kayong maging hangal kundi unawain nyo kung ano ang kaloob ng Panginoon. It is the will of the Lord that should be taking much of our time. And we can only do this every day if we always keep in our mind that all of the things in this world are His. He can take it whenever He wants. And when that time comes, we must be ready to give our account to Him. We should know by now what is the will of the Lord. And siguro naman lahat tayo alam natin yung will of the Lord. But if you don't know really don't know what is the will of our Lord. You can always read His words in the Bible. Reading His word is a time well spent. You are hitting two birds in one stone by doing this, spending time with the, the word of the Lord and knowing His will. And I know that uh, there will always be distraction on our way to Him. This distraction will consume our time and make our path to the Lord unclear. And then we will be 
we will become lost along the way. This distraction may vary from accumulating riches of this world, too much social media, earthly happiness, carnal, carnal thoughts. This distraction will take our time with the Lord. And the Lord know this for in uh, 1 John chapter 2, verse 15, it says, Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. It's Tagalog. Huwag niyong ibigin ng sanlibutan ni ang mga bagay na nasa sanlibutan. Ang pag-ibig ng Ama ay wala sa sino mang umiibig sa sanlibutan. And this, uh, the devil will always find a way to distract us in our, way, in our walk towards the Lord. And in my situation, loads of work have been given to my, my, my co-workers and I tend to focus on them rather than taking time to make a talk. Uh, we have to focus ourselves in the internal and not in the temporary uh, pleasures that this world gives. It is said in John chapter 6, verse 27, Labor not for not labor not for the meat which perisheth, perish but for the meat which endureth unto everlasting life, which the Son of Man shall give unto you, for him had God the Father sealed. Huwag kayong magsumikap ng dahil sa pag, pagkaing nasisira, kundi dahil sa pagkaing tumatagal para sa buhay na walang hanggan na ibibigay sa inyo ng anak ng tao. Sapagkat sa kanya, nilagay ng Diyos, ng Diyos Ama ang kanyang katak. Uh, we must not compromise our time with the Lord. We must always prioritize on His works. When we realize that we are not walking anymore with the Lord, we have to stop. We have to stop what we're doing and pray for his guidance. We have to let his gift, uh, the Holy Spirit, guide us in all our decisions that we have to make. Because in, it is said in John chapter 16, verse 13, albeit when he, the spirit of the truth is come, he will guide you into all truth, for he shall not speak of himself. But whosoever he shall hear, that shall he speak, and he will show you, show you things to come. Sa Tagalog, subalit kapag dumating na ang spiritu ng katotohanan, papatnubayan niya kayo sa buong katotohanan. Sapagkat hindi siya magsasalita ng mula sa kanyang sarili, kundi ang anumang bagay na kanyang marinig. Yun ang kanyang sasabihin at kanyang ipapayag sa inyo ang mga bagay na darating. Uh, sinabi rin sa Proverbs 16 verse 9, A man's heart devised his way, but the Lord directed his steps. Uh, sa Tagalog, ang puso ng tao ay nagpapanukala ng kanyang daan. Ngunit ang Panginoon ang nangangasiwa ng kanyang mga hakbang. We should always seek, seek His time. We must always take the opportunity of having time to work for Him. Be it in uh, attending the fellowship, giving giving testimonies, witnessing, participating in the operation of the gift, and taking time to read his words. These opportunities will bring us closer to him. 
sa in Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 11 it is said he had made everything beautiful in his time also he had set the world in their heart so that no man can find out the work that God make it from the beginning to the end sa Tagalog ginawa niya ang bawat bagay na maganda sa kapanahunan niyon inilagay rin niya ang walang hanggan sa isip sa isipan ng tao gayon may hindi niya malalaman ang ginawa ng Diyos mula sa pasimula hanggang sa wakas um, we must always make time for the Lord so that uh, we can see or reach the end that only the Lord can give in His time. And uh, to summarize what just I have talked uh, life is indeed short and we have to spend it wisely a well managed time is the time being managed based, based on God's will sabi nga sa 1 John 2 uh, verse 17 and the world Passeth away in the last thereof. But he that do will doeth the will of God abideth forever. So that's my short talk for tonight. Short, short talk.